Orange County Congresswoman Michelle Steele is hoping to beat challenger Jay Chen in the race for the newly drawn 45th district. It stretches from Cerritos in LA County to Buena Park in the OC and runs south to Westminster, Garden Grove and Fountain Valley. Hi there, how are you? Very good. I'm Jay Chen. Sparks are flying as the campaigning nears the home stretch. Both sides are leveling personal accusations. Because my accent is broken, but my heart is full. I love America. A new Michelle Steele ad highlights her beginnings in Korea and her accent, which she claims Democrat Jay Chen mocked. So she just had another town hall the other day, and um, it's tough. Like, we've transcribed it. You kind of need an interpreter to figure out exactly what she's saying. Uh, the more she speaks, the better for us. Um, <laughs> That was Chen uh, speaking tough. to supporters right. before the primary election in June. Exactly Michelle Steele saying. called the comments uh, the racist, but Chen says he was referring to something other than Steele's accent. Well, from the very beginning, the only one who talked about Michelle Steele's accent was Michelle Steele. I had never uh, made fun of her accent, but she wanted to manufacture a controversy to distract from her terrible voting record. Now another controversy has surfaced in this highly watched congressional race in the district where more than a third of the voters are Asian. I am very proud of my service. This time it's Jay Chen, a Navy veteran and intelligence officer in the reserves who is criticizing Michelle Steele for a campaign mailer. Here's the Photoshop flyer with images of communists and communist symbols that's been sent to Vietnamese American voters in the district. Steele accuses Chen, who has held positions on local school boards, of bringing communism into local classrooms. Right, so Michelle Steele created a, a Photoshop document uh, trying to show that I was teaching communism, which is ridiculous. Um, and she's attempting to exploit the, the fears in the Vietnamese American community. And she's trying to exploit that fear. It's been a common tactic used in politics. Michelle Steele declined to be interviewed for this story. She tweeted, Jay Chen is doing China's bidding by refusing to condemn Confucius classrooms. This is one of the most pro-China, anti-American, radical positions one can hold at this point, and he stands on an island alone. I assure you, I won't stop exposing him. We last talked to Steele before the primary in June, after voters said they worry most about gas prices, inflation, and border security. I think we should control our lives, you know, here, and not government has to control. So, you know, we really have to talk about that. We really have to less spending and less taxes, less regulations, less mandates and we can have our freedom here, and that can control the inflation. Jay Chen points out Steele's no votes on federal funding for Americans during the pandemic and her anti-choice stance on abortion, even in cases of rape. He questions how Michelle Steele could have voted the way she did after the January 6th insurrection. There were these members of Congress who actually went into hiding because of the chaos and danger, and when they came out, still refused to do the right thing and certify the election. And unfortunately, Michelle Steele was one of them, and she's refused to uh, uphold her oath to the Constitution. In Orange County, Michelle Geely, CBS News, Los Angeles.